I have a never ending quest and that is to figure out ways to add chocolate to my diet without gaining weight to help me maintain my weight. So with that being said, today I bring you the cacao nib and this week's episode of The Eating Crowd. Hi, I'm Andrea Galbraith and today I'm going to talk to you about cacao nibs. So honestly, I just learned about these little suckers a few weeks ago when I was watching a video and I thought I really need to learn more about them. And then I was at Sprouts and there they were right there on the shelf. So I took a bag home. So what's a cacao nib anyway? So imagine the cacao bean roasted, hauled, and then broken into little pieces. So it's pretty much chocolate in its purest form. And chocolate has some superfood properties. One serving of a cacao nib has nine grams of fiber, it's high in magnesium, it contain, one ounce contains 6% of your daily value of iron, it's full of antioxidants and anti-cancer properties, and it also has an aphrodisiac property to it. Pretty much it just releases these feel-good hormones that often we search for. So it's not a bad thing to add to your diet. If you're new to this whole dark chocolate thing, you, you need to be prepared. When you try these, they kind of have a bitter, nutty flavor. So if you've been eating milk chocolate and you try this, you'd be like, well, what in the hell is this? Well, this isn't chocolate. No, no, it is. It's chocolate in its purest form. So when I was trying to wean myself out of, out, off of milk chocolate, I actually started with Hershey's Special Dark because it had just enough sweetness. And honestly, I was a little bit shocked too when I tried um, the cacao nib. I wasn't quite prepared for the, the bitter taste, but now I really love it. When I eat it, I usually take an apple and I cut it in half and I'll put some almond butter on the apple and I sprinkle a little bit of the cacao nib on top. And it's just a really yummy, delicious snack. People often take the cacao nib and put it in yogurt or they'll mix it in their smoothies to give it a nice chocolate flavor. But there's so many ways uh, that you can add this to your diet and know that you're doing something healthy for yourself. So if you like this kind of information, you should join me over on my Facebook page because I share stuff like this all the time. So I'm gonna add the link in the description below. Better yet, sign up for my emails. I promise I never flood inboxes with a bunch of useless information. I just share whatever I think will help you become the champion of your own health and happiness. So thanks for tuning in. Feel free to leave a comment, only if you're gonna be nice. Other than that, I'll see you next week in my next episode of Stop Eating Crap. Stop eating crap. <laughs>